What's up guys, uh, welcome back to the next video on learning Java. My name is Kyuri Azan and you guys are watching my channel Crywood. Alright, so in the previous video we have seen classes and we have seen the modules, packages, we have seen the methods. It's time for us to begin with the data types. In the next video we're gonna go core up, we're gonna go to the variables and we have gonna assign our variables and we're gonna start uh, doing our uh, Java programming. Alright, so before everything else we need to learn the primitive data types. So we have uh, primitive data types, Our uh, some programmers refer to this one as the scalar types. So when you guys go on an exam or if you guys go on an interview, if someone asks you scalar types, it's the same as uh, primitive types. And why we call it scalar types? Because they are related to a single piece of information. Say for example, if you guys want to do your string, or if you guys want to do your uh, integer, or if you guys want to do your float, say for example float for uh, decimal say for example if you want it to 3.2 or uh, do 5.7 for example or whatever the number you want to do but you want to do your decimal that's called float okay so I have uh, put it here if you guys want to write it you can write it but uh, the first one is the byte so 8 bit makes a byte and the byte is very small uh, integer and the range is from my minus 128 2 plus uh, 128 so if you guys want to say for example a very teeny weeny number here you guys can use this one it goes to plus and it goes to minus it's up to you guys whatever the guys have a number if you guys very small number then you guys can go in this range and the next come this guy is going to come here this is called short and the short is small integer and it ranges minus for 32768 to 232767 that's the range of this one so this one is a little bit uh, bigger than this guy here and the third guy comes here is called int our integer in normal mathematics that's what we use it for uh, big integer so uh, it goes from minus uh, 2,147,483,648 to 2,177,483,647 two so that's the range from that's a minus and that's uh, big so when you guys go in this range it means it goes huge you guys can go up to two billion and if you if it's not enough if you guys going for banking whatever you guys can go up to nine uh, billion here so the next guy is gonna come here it's a massive number it's very scary number and it's very big integer so that's come kind of for long so the long the range is very very scary it's unpronounceable i think it goes to uh, trillions so that's that's how the number goes minus nine two two three oh six three eight five four seven seven five eight two eight two nine two two three zero six three eight five four seven seven five eight two eight so being a programmer i'm a little bit tired so i'm i can if you guys want to go and uh, uh, look for this on the precise one you guys can go and have a look for the precise one but that's how the big the range of this one the, the longest so it goes for like for your stock exchange if you guys go for commerce if you guys go for accounting whatever you guys can uh, use your long you guys can use uh, integer or this ones especially the short and uh, byte and this is as i said for the real numbers with the floating value or point it goes to plus minus 1.4 multiply 10 minus uh, 45 zeros to 3.4 multiply 10 uh, 38 zeros so that's what the range so it goes plus minus so it goes minus on the left it goes plus on the right then the, the next guy is going to come here is a massive number it's a very big real number so it goes to plus either plus or minus to 4.9 multiply 10 minus uh, 324 zeros to 1.8 to goes to 10 308 uh, plus zeros so the next one is going to come here is character and it's uh, this unicode character uh, set that's how you guys going to use your uh, data types and this guy is going to come here as a boolean and booleans there is no range for the boolean keep in mind there is no range it's only true or false and sometimes you guys going to see it's uh, zero or one for example if you guys going to you go in c++ and you guys going to see it return zero or return one uh, in uh, a lot of programming languages so that's what the data types in Java say for example you guys can uh, put an int for example age 
yeah, or you guys can uh, just name it your uh, variable that you guys can make your variable for example our you guys can put a short or uh, you guys gonna put a further price for example our uh, you guys can uh, put a for example long a very long number whatever you guys want to put our double double uh, for example stock stock number whatever stock exchange number you guys can do like this but you guys can use all of these uh, uh, data types and uh, that's primitive data types or scalar types in Java so this is just a uh, basic ones this is what the uh, data types here that, that is available in Java and that's what the ranges are alright guys uh, that's it for this video if you guys have any question or comment leave in the comment box otherwise I'll see you guys in the next video and bye